There's still lots of confusion about a secret report on foreign interference in Canada's parliament. An intelligence watchdog said some MPs wittingly assisted the efforts of foreign states to meddle in Canadian politics, but no names have been released. Last week, Green Party leader Elizabeth May and NDP leader Jagmeet Singh had very different takes on the full report, which they've been able to read. Singh says some MPs are, in his words, traitors. May is not so worried, though today she did have more to say. Mackenzie Gray is with me. Mackenzie. Yeah, Donna, one of the few people who's seen the stunning unredacted foreign interference report, Green Party leader Elizabeth May, attempted to clarify her previous comments. I was up here. I read the report. So I'm really relieved. That feeling stemming from May's assertion that no current MP accused in the all-party report were, in her words, traitors. Despite that, there are still some serious allegations. A few of our colleagues currently serving are potentially compromised by foreign interference. Those examples include foreign governments interfering to help in nomination contests, according to May, something she believes is not criminal, opting for other adjectives. Dumb, unethical, foolish, you can use a number of terms for allowing someone to show up and help you win your nomination. If you weren't asking questions, you should have kind of ought to have thought, um, do I want to accept help from somebody? Speaking with reporters for the second time on the report, May trying to clear up differences between her reading and NDP leader Jagmeet Singh's interpretation. And I don't want to, for any reason at all, create impressions for Canadians that Mr. Singh and I disagree on the contents. But the differences are stark. Singh saying he was more concerned after reading the unredacted report believing parliamentarians who allegedly wittingly collaborated with foreign governments are traitors to the country. There is uh, a, a certain amount of responsibility that party leaders have. A contrast the prime minister used to justify why he doesn't agree with some of the committee's findings. Some of the conclusions, as was highlighted by Minister LeBlanc, are not conclusions that we draw based on the actual evidence and intelligence. Mac, it's hard to know how seriously to take all this. The, is the intelligence overblown or unreliable, or are there really traitors in Parliament? Are there likely to be any clear answers? Well, the allegations are extremely serious, Donna, and even the Prime Minister, who refuses to give any examples of what he thinks is wrong with the report, has said as much. But as for getting to the bottom of them, in particular naming any of the names of the MPs or senators alleged to be wittingly involved in foreign interference, that seems unlikely as of now. The public safety minister has said it would be reckless to do so, and it could be criminal for opposition MPs who have that knowledge to share anything. So that's led the House of Commons to boot the issue over to the public inquiry into foreign interference, which said earlier today it has all the same documents Ensikov had. So the question will be, Donna, if Justice Marie Hogue will go further and provide more details on these parliamentarians. Okay, lots to watch for. Mackenzie Gray in Ottawa, thank you.